Welcome back inside our Vancouver Proactive studio. And joining me in studio is Dan Wilton. He's the CEO of First Mining Gold. And Dan, great to see you. How are thanks you? Thanks very much. I'm very well, thanks. You've got a really uh, interesting portfolio of projects. Uh, before we get into them, let's talk a little bit about the company itself. Can you sure. show us some background of yourself? Yeah, so the company was founded in 2015 by Keith Newmeyer, who's the CEO of First Majestic. Keith's a pretty well-known guy in the mining industry. Yeah. And uh, Keith and a few like-minded individuals decided uh, as they were looking around, 2015 was a really tough time in the Absolutely, mining market. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and there were a bunch of good projects that people had kind of given up on. So they formed a public company to go buy up a bunch of projects. And they did. They actually bought eight companies or projects in 12 months. Wow. So yeah, it was a very uh, rapid ascent. Uh, built the company up at the time with the portfolio that we have today. It got to about a 600 million market cap as they were building with excitement and enthusiasm. Uh, with all the same assets that we have today, which I think speaks a bit to the yeah. value of where we are with 150 million market cap today. Yeah, no kidding. So uh, the biggest cluster is in Ontario. Uh, yeah. We're a good jurisdiction for mining right but now. I think it's one of the best jurisdictions in the world to, to develop mines and move them forward. We've got good support of local communities. We've got great proactive regulators. Uh, you know, Ontario has permitted three big open pit mines in the last three years. Right. Yeah. Um, so very, yeah, very active and, and focused on the mining industry. It's a big part of the economy there. Well, let's talk about some of the projects itself. Uh, first off, the, the most recent news, and that's this morning. Yeah. And this is your uh, Goldland property. Yeah. So tell me about this property and then what you were able to release this morning. Okay. So Goldland is, uh, is a gold project that we're kind of scoping out as an open pit. Uh, it's located just off the highway between Dryden and Sioux Lookout. So okay. terrific access to infrastructure. Um, it's sitting right now at about 800,000 ounces of indicated and about 850,000 ounces of inferred. Mm. Uh, and, you know, the indicated grades almost two grams, the inferred 1.5, which would make it one of the more attractive open pit projects in Canada. Okay. So this morning we put out uh, kind of our final set of results on a regional prospect called Miller, which is about 10 kilometers along strike in these big regional structures. Right. Uh, and um, we tagged into it last year. Uh, well, I guess in 2018 with eight holes. So 2019 was really focused on following up, delineating strike length. So sure. I think we put out the balance of these holes. We have what we believe is a is a real bona fide satellite deposit there, which ultimately could go to support a central mill. And most importantly, we think that this is one of a number of these that we're going to find. We've got like 50 kilometers of strike length on Goldland. Wow. And this has really given us a sense with some new um, geophysical interpretation that we have. We're really getting a sense on where we go look for more. So there's a lot more opportunity coming out of that. Project. Okay. Uh, the other one, you've got a couple other ones I want to talk about. Spring Pole, which yeah. is uh, interesting. You've already put a PEA out on Spring Pole. Is that we right? have, yeah. yeah. October of last year, we put out a PEA on an open pit uh, mine plan development that we showed really robust economics. 840 million US uh, NPV at $1,300 gold, uh, 1.2 billion NPV at, uh, at $1,500 gold. Uh, so we're taking that project through a PFS and right. ultimately uh, this year aiming to compile our environmental impact statement and get that submitted as part of the permitting process. Is that the most advanced that you have in the portfolio? Is that the one that you're looking at the most? Yeah, it is. That's the one that's most advanced from an economics and study perspective. Okay. So, you know, this is a project that we think justifies, you know, a significant multiple of our current market cap. Uh, if it were producing today, Spring Pole would be the four Fourth largest producing mine in Canada. Like the wow. average uh, production in the heart of the mine life is about 400,000 ounces a year, mm -hmm. which makes it big enough to be meaningful to all of the biggest mining companies in the world. Uh, you just recently announced a partnership uh, on your Pickle Crow project. So yeah. talk about that one. So uh, Pickle Crow is a really interesting area. The whole Pickle Lake camp is basically an analog to Red Lake but has seen only a fraction of the investment. So um, First Mining acquired Pickle Crow in 2015. Uh, and, um, you know, it's a high-grade underground deposit with a ton of infrastructure. There's a small mill there. But what it really needs is, uh, we think, a step back to look at what is the really big regional geological potential that's kind of been overlooked because it was right. a small, narrow-vein, high-grade mine. 
Uh, and so we got contacted last year by a group out of Australia, uh, a company called Otico, but it was really the principles behind um, a company called Bellevue Gold. Okay. And Bellevue's been a huge success in Australia yeah. in the last year. Absolutely. You know, gone to a 350 million ish Aussie market cap by finding a project in an established high grade camp that hadn't really seen modern exploration in 30 or 40 years and applying good science and uh, raising the right amount of capital to spend to understand the regional perspective. And they've delineated a one point million ounce, you know, high grade resource there over the last 18, 24 months. Right. So they kind of fit with you with your plan as well. Yeah, what's great is they they kind of looked all over the world for what's their next project with these characteristics and actually came to us because we had Pickle Crow. And so we're delighted, uh, you know, we've announced this deal, they'll spend $10 million in exploration and make a bunch of stage payments and share payments uh, and a royalty for us to, uh, for them to earn into 80% of the project. Nice. So we're excited to get them started and on the ground. Get going, yeah, right? Absolutely. So, so let's just wrap up here, Dan, give me sort of an idea about 2020. What's the, what's the main focus for the company in 2020? So our real laser focus right now is we're moving Springpool through the PFS process and we're compiling all the data uh, to complete and submit our environmental impact statement. Okay. We think that you get spring pool uh, further along in the permitting process and continue to advance everything we need to do there, both technically and from a social license perspective. I think that helps us surface an enormous amount of value in this company. So that's number one. We're still drilling at Goldland. We've got drills turning today okay. uh, back near the Goldland main zone uh, and continuing to extend there. And ultimately, I think that leads to uh, a furtherance of Goldland, moving it ultimately to an economic study to sure. understand how we'd move that forward. And then, uh, you know, we just have some other work on the other assets in the portfolio that are great projects, but a bit like Pickle Crow, they're further down our priority. We may not get to them immediately. Uh, and so, you know, we're pretty actively talking to a number of people about potential partnerships on some of our other assets wow. as well. So well, lots of catalysts for this year. It's certainly busy for sure. That it is. Great Absolutely. to see you. Thank you Thanks very much. Thanks very much, yeah. Take All right, care. Dan Wilton, the CEO of First Mining Gold.